metal alchemist it's gonna go in that very good category you know it is a excellent show with some deep themes and amazing fighting and good animation but the problem i have and have had with full metal is that it is an excellent show it's a 10 for 10 show but that's after you like take anything from any category and you just add it up it excels or it's fairly it's good in every category but it doesn't really excel in any category but that's what makes it such a good show is that the the animation's on point the story's on point the themes are on point uh the character development's on point everything makes sense it's one reason why full metal has been such a excellent show for so many years i mean it, it sits at or used to sit at the top of uh annualist number one watched show for most people uh, till Burren took it off but uh but yeah i mean it's still a very good show but i kind of falls into the same thing that i don't really consider it a shonen it's because when i think shonen i kind of think like i, I do kind of think more dragon ball z bleach my hero academia you know stuff like that uh full metal is just more of a full metal is more of a show that's gonna make you think about life and morality and shit like that i mean dbz just you just punch people jintama uh it's gonna jintama is more of like a comedy show if i'm not mistaken i'm not too familiar with it so i'm just gonna throw it unacceptable uh hunter hunter as much as i love hunter hunter and the themes and everything that it does it does have to go on very good because I, I love the idea of the main characters not always winning or actually thinking what they need to do to escape a situation like when they realize that they are just outclassed in every way and they're just like well we're we're not going to uh <laughs> we're not going to engage with those people because we will lose like gone's a very odd main character he uh he def he definitely shows a lot more emotion than your typical shonen uh, protagonist but uh hunter hunter is a very good series and i think it's always giving us surprises and tagashi is 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 one of those writers that does so well in what he in the story that he's crafting i mean he's also not afraid to you know not have gone as the main character what was it uh in the latest chapters karapika is actually taken over as the main character of hunter hunter even though we know gone's probably going to come back at some point but we do have to expect that gone is not going to be in, in the story anymore asha as a shonen really just average it kind of does that same thing as leech does because they keep recycling the main villain and they she realized which it took me about three seasons took me about three seasons to realize this that inuyasha just recycles the same villain it's like they go through a thing he gets a new power fights the villain villain gets away for bs reason it gets boring and inuyasha is not really a shonen i would honestly consider it more of a shoujo because it definitely does focus on those romantic themes more than the fighting aspects of what an anime is capable of joe joe uh jojo sits up there as is it just very good or is it excellent um oh man that's actually uh, a choice i gotta go with excellent i think the story of jojo's is amazing i think the story of jojo is one of those ones that people don't see coming i think because jojo's is definitely very different where most of these animes on this list you're not going to see the protagonist change from the introduction to the end of it jojo's is not afraid to change them every freaking season or kill them all i think that's one of jojo's strengths is that they're very much willing to get rid of any character and they're they're just not afraid of it like the writer of jojo's just has that ability that they're, they're not they're not limiting themselves in that hey we need jotaro as the main character where to take him uh they also using stands and changing the abilities from the hamon stuff from season from part two stands i think were very much inspired or nin i feel was very much inspired by jojo's because with nin nin is a very flexible ability in that you can have so many interesting battles with that in hunter x hunter uh same goes for jojo's is that the it do, it's not just about strength it's about how you use the power of your stand and no one stand is more powerful than the next even though they definitely make it seem like that quite a few times i mean who's stronger than a stand that can control time